in this video let us see what is mean by continuum and we consider the fluid as a continuum first let us understand what is continuum continuum means continuous and homogeneous continuous and homogeneous which means the fluid is composed of certain particles the fluid is composed of these particles and we consider this fluid this total fluid as a single particle which means we are considering this liquid in terms of a solid so this is the principle of continuum so in order to be uh, this fluid as a continuous our assumption is the fluid has an inertia number less than 1% or inertia number less than 0.01 in terms of percentage it is less than 1% so what is this inertia number inertia number inertia number is equal to lambda by l this is lambda lambda is mean free path and l is characteristic length okay so what is here mean free path this mean free path is nothing but distance traveled distance between two successive collisions so the particles of the fluid collide with another particle so for example let us take this particle collides with this particle after colliding it travels in some other direction like this and there is another particle here so this particle is traveled from here to here this this is the distance this distance traveled is called mean free path sorry it's just free path free path of that particle and after this point after this collision it travels here this is another free path and after this collision it hits another atom so the average of these distances this one this and this this distance average of that distances is mean free path this is average distance average distance between two successive collision is called mean free path and the characteristic length uh, is the length that we consider uh, is the dimension that we consider in certain cases if there is a pipe we consider characteristic length as this diameter if there is a plate and there is a flow over and fluid flow over we consider the length of the plate as the characteristic length so this is the inertia number if inertia number is very low if inertia number is less than 0.01 which means lambda is less this implies if lambda is less the distance traveled between particle to particle is very less if this is less it is indicating that particles are very close particles are very close so continuum means part a continuum means less nerds a number less nerds a number means lambda is very less if lambda is very less particles are particles are nearer so what is finally continuum continuum means particles are very nearer we cannot distinguish the distance between the particles so that this nerds a number is less than uh, very less then we can uh, say it as it is a continuum so let me write here 
if the Knudsen number is less than 0 0.01, then it is continuum is valid. Continuum valid. If Knudsen number is less than 0 0.01, sorry, if Knudsen number is greater than 0 0.01 and less than 0 0.1, it is called as slip flow. If Knudsen number is greater than 0 0.1 and less than 10, then it is called as transition flow. Transition flow. If the Knudsen number is greater than 10, it is free molecular flow. Free molecular flow. And also for gases, if Knudsen number is less than 0 0.01, we use continuum concept. Continuum concept is used. If Knudsen number is greater than 0 0.01 for gases, we use rarefied gas theory. So what is mean by rarefied? Rarefied means nothing but vacuum, vacuum pressure gases. So vacuum pressure is the meaning of rarefied. Rarefied gases means gases which are in vacuum pressure. So that's it for continuum.